Hello. I just have to wait. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't here for that. Does that work? Is this on? Check one. Oh. To all the viewers at home, hello. Those are my two helpers over there, Hannah and Connor. Uh, wow, these, these slides change. OK. Uh, oh, um, did today's architecture cause uh, this financial crisis? Um, this is just a random thought with zero facts behind it. <laughs> zero facts. I got this idea as I was driving down the freeway, heading east on the 101. And I saw this new building being built. And I looked down like, wow, that's a really cool shopping mall. Come to find out it's not a shopping mall. It's a new dial corporate center. But wow, it's kind of a creative building. Architecture is not a building. It's a place. It's a thing. It's an experience. When I looked at that building, I didn't think about the building itself. I thought about the experience I would have when I go into that building. Architecture is about product design. It's when we look at things. Um, we experience it. When we go places, we experience it. Water slide, when we think of the Olympics, what do we think about in Olympics? The gold medals, but we also think about how China really pushed the architectural limits of what they were trying to do. Architecture changes the way we interact with one another in a society. Seattle Library, fantastic place to be in. It changes when you get into that space. You're no longer thinking, wow, I want to go jogging. You think about, wow, this is a creative space. Begin thinking, studying, and, and architecture can do that for us. And when we don't pay attention to the buildings in our environment, we get things like this. <laughs> OK? And, and I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty, you know, living in a space like this. But this doesn't inspire. This doesn't really challenge the way we think. This doesn't challenge anything except how do I get into it? Do I want to do business with this? You know, do I, do I drive by and go, wow, I've got to stop in here and check that out. What is that? You know, and when a business gets in there, do they grow? Because they go, wow, this space is so cool. And employees working there go, I'm really inspired that this environment, this, this is inspirational. This will change the way we do things, change the way we interact as a society, as people, as individuals. Businesses will get into the space and change the way they do things. A country that's building all kinds of odd shapes, we're all now inspired to go to and travel to. Homes can really be different. Boxes can be done in different ways to be cool. The front of a house, I can look into it. I can see activity. I'm open to it. It's, it doesn't have to be closed off the garage and shelter ourselves from the rest of society. It can be something friendly. Typical Arizona, short driveway, very narrow area, and a little playground in the back. I mean, with walls that we can't see our neighbors, what does that do for us? What does that do as a community? How do we communicate to one another when we block ourselves off? Older style homes. The garage, separate and back, gave you opportunity to park the car and walk into the house, to separate yourself from work to home. Front porch, walking by, I could see people hang on the porch, opportunity to talk to them. This is environment. When I go back to this, it's like, where is the front door? <laughs> should, should I go over here? Should I not? You know, it's a short driveway. It's kind of slanted. No room for a basketball court. I mean, we're taking away basketball courts. What kind of fun is that? What do we do to our kids? So what does all this have to do with the financial crisis? Well, <clears throat> as a society, when we start thinking about the environments we're in and we're not inspired by the buildings we're in, how can we really begin to think about the money we spend? Or, or I guess, let me step back for a second. We're an experienced society always looking for the next experience. And when we don't have a good one on a daily basis, we kind of go overboard. Detail, space, and legacy. <clears throat> Three things I really want to talk about because there's all kinds of issues with this. So detail. When I think about architecture, I think about the details and things. So taking a moment, stepping back, looking and going, wow. They took, they took time to think about the detail. And it's that detail that trans, transcends into us, into the details of our daily lives. When we don't look at the details, we don't look at the details of balance sheets of large corporations. <laughs> I mean, if we start really following the details, you'd realize we don't have money to be spending on this. We're spending way too much. We can't afford this. So as a society, when the architecture doesn't pay attention to details, we forget about the, <clears throat> the checkbooks, space. These 